Good afternoon, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me thank you for coming here to Russia, for coming to St. Petersburg. I find it necessary to point out that every time the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum gathers many of our friends, including leadership of sovereign investment funds. But this year, for the first time, as Mr. Dmitriev already said, this platform gathered so many heads of sovereign investment funds coming from Europe, United States, Asia, Middle East. And of course, we are happy that this meeting is held in St. Petersburg in the frame of the International Economic Forum. Today, we are happy to have investors whose uh, total capital exceeds $13 trillion. Today, I suggest to discuss uh, prospects for our further cooperation to discuss specific mutually beneficial projects to create predictable and favorable conditions for their implementation of these projects by consistently improving the investment climate here in Russia. We conduct a responsible, well-balanced macroeconomic policy. It is already today that uh, the inflation rate is up to, to 4.1 percent in annual terms, and we expect that by the end of the year this rate will be lower than the target of 4 percent. The Bank of Russia has been consistently reducing the policy rate. We also see the dropping interest rate loans that are allocated to different entities. We'll also see growing possibilities for funding various long-term investment projects. All in all, the Russian national economy has gone upwards. Uh, you see that the GDP has been growing for the third quarter in a row, despite unfavorable climate on the global banking market. Unfortunately, changes are very slow, but it means that we have become less dependent on the volatile environment. On top of that, we saw the emergence of new driving forces, new development factors. We see the increasing competitive competitiveness of our companies, industries and agriculture. We also see the growing industries and uh, tertiary sector. Of course, these statistics are quite modest. Nevertheless, we are optimistic and encouraged by them. We set an ambition goal for the period of 2019-2020 for the national growth rate to exceed the global level. It is of principal importance to ensure the inflow of uh, funds into the Russian market. We strive to offer the most conducive environment for investors, including joint investment platforms with the participation of the Russian Direct Investment Fund. Last year, let me remind you, it has it gained the status of a sovereign fund of the Russian Federation. Together with our partners, the RDIF has already attracted over 1 trillion rubles in investment on the Russian market. It is important that its projects have a positive, significant impact on the national economy, and its return significantly exceeds the return from other tools. I would like to note that the return coming from the transactions conducted by the Russian Direct Investment Fund is up to 15 percent in uh, the U.S. dollars. In the global shares, you know, it is a very positive indicator compared to other similar entities and federations. At the same time, we have seen the emergence of long-term strategic partnership with international investors. A decision has recently been taken to create a joint funds with our colleagues from Turkey and other states. As of today, the total capital of these partnerships exceeds $30 billion. We have interest to see funds being injected into industry, agriculture, and so-called new economy. By this, I mean the domains where our business is committed to build up its export and technological capacities. Let me note that the result of our companies going public are reflected in their better efficiency and capitalization. The RDIF has been a flagman ship in these investments, and an IPO has been an additional proof of uh, 
the yield and reliability of our securities. We are also ready to offer interesting sites to invest in infrastructure, transportation, energy, communications. We are committed to establish a more user-friendly, clear-cut investment mechanisms to mitigate investors' risks, to make their participation in the long-term projects more yielding. And of course, we rely on further develop, further cooperation in the areas which have a direct impact on the well-being of our population. By these, I mean healthcare, construction of high-technology medical centers, and others. By the way. A number of these projects have already been completed, in particular in the frame of uh, our meetings in the course of uh, the SPIF. I would ask the Director General of the Russian Direct Investment Fund, Mr. Dmitriev, to go into detail on our cooperation with the fund. You have the floor. Distinguished Mr. Putin, distinguished colleagues, dear friends, um, six years ago Vladimir Putin gave his support to this fund. And uh, this assistance made the RDA fee to become an economic bridge between Russia, Middle East, Asian, European and North American countries, given its geographic representation. This is the biggest investment community here. Investors are attracted by macroeconomic and economic indicators of Russia. We expect the growth to be about 2% this year. As a sovereign fund, for the first time, at the Russian St. Petersburg Economic Forum, we are ready to announce 10 new investments with our partners. I mean the Polis Company, the Transport Company Global Trans, the Oil Servicing Company Eurasia, the construction of the satellite city Yuzhny in St. Petersburg, investment into the joint concession holding together with the pension fund to implement infrastructure projects, including the development of the road, investment into many other major projects. Most of our partners before engaging into our fund didn't invest into the Russian market, and we're grateful that pulling our efforts, we develop new plants and new development projects from scratch. We have over 550 billion rubles invested into these projects that uh, had been created from scratch, 95% of our investment cover all Russian regions. Without taking into account our yield coming from taxes, the funds invested by the RDIF come back to the state within five years period. We keep extending the geography of our partnership. We have representatives of 14 new funds here, including the leadership of the biggest pension fund, the Japanese fund, GP. RDIF plays a major role in building our relations with, this, with Saudi Arabia. For the first time in our history, Saudi Arabia has invested in Russia. We have already invested eight private companies and ten state-owned companies. For instance, the airport Pulkova attracted investments not only from Saudi Arabia but also from China, Qatar, Kuwait and other countries. We attract institutional investors as well as strategic investors. We have been building the medical clinic Sorok with the Italian company. We have been engaged into different reconstruction projects. And in conclusion, I would like to thank all of you for taking part in the discussion which will take place, which will cover coming projects in the domains like high technologies and others. Thank you very much.